This is 423. And we are looking to use source transformation to determine the current and the power absorbed by the 8 ohm resistor, the 8 ohm resistor right here. So if you remember in source transformation, what we have is the voltage source is equal to the current source times the resistance. And that allows us to go from a situation like this to a situation where we have a current source and a resistor in parallel, right? We can do these two transformations and we can go back the other way. So that's what we will be doing here. So taking the three amp, three amp current source and the 10 ohm resistor here, we have the voltage source equals the current source times the resistance, which is 10. Okay, so the voltage source is then equal to 30. So let's redraw this circuit. So we have a 30 volt voltage source, and then that's in, that's in series with this. And then we have our eight ohm, and we have our six ohm here, and three ohm, and 15 ohm, or 15 volt. Okay, so since we are looking for this one here, we can do a source transformation here, where we have the voltage source is 15, and we are looking for the current source given that the resistance here is three ohms. And what we figure out is the source of the current, the current source is, should be uh, five amps, five amps. So let's redraw the circuit. And we have our 30 volt and 10, eight, six, and three, and then we have this current source now, which is five amps, five amps. And this here is three, this is six, and we still have our 10 and eight here. Now these are in parallel, so we can combine these. So let's combine those. So we have six times three divided by six plus three so that's 18 18 divided by nine which is then just two ohms so we have these two combined for two ohms so we want the voltage source now if we have our volt our current source is five amps and our resistance here is two, so that is two. So our voltage source then comes out to be 10 volts, 10 volts. So let's redraw the circuit, and we have our 30 volts over here, 30 volts, and then 10, eight, and two, and then we have our, our voltage source, which is 10 volts, and it's connected here. And this is 10, eight, and two. Now we can combine these voltage sources together. So if we combine these voltage sources, that is 30, minus 10, because if you look at the positive and the negative, they point in opposite directions. They're pointing in opposite directions. So we have 30 minus 10. Let's erase that. Connect here. And this one will then be 
20, 20 volts. We are looking for the current across this resistor here, this eight ohm resistor. And we know that V equals I times R, and we have the total resistance here is 20, 20. So we put in 20 for the total resistance, and we know that the voltage is 20, and that makes the current is one amp. So that is one part of the solution. In addition, we want the power, the power for the eight ohm resistor. So for eight ohms, and that is going to be equal to I squared times R. And we have I, which is one squared times R, which is eight. So the power for the eight ohm resistor being absorbed, that is eight watts, eight watts. And that is the solution to 423.